how are we doing guys welcome back to my cooking channel chef carlton here and as always please go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button let me grow this channel guys so today i'm going to be doing an oxtail i promise you guys an oxtail recipe so whenever i don't know what i want for dinner i come in here and i got my dinner ideas dinner ideas up here dinner ideas here so today i'm going to be doing the oxtail so i would suggest you guys do something like this if you don't know what you want for dinner just print out some ideas and just randomly choose one or make like a timetable of what you do when the chef lead up you know all right so watch this oxtail recipe guys all right guys so i got my oxtail all washed and ready to season so i'm going to show you what i'm going to be working with all right so these are all I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to go ahead and portion out everything, cut everything up. Then I'll get back and show you guys what I got. All right, guys. So this is an overview of all the stuff I'm going to be using. So I got some soy sauce, some ketchup, onions chopped, garlic chopped, some Worcestershire sauce, fresh thyme, I got some scotch bonnet, I got some allspice, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and some oxtail seasoning. All right. So let's go ahead and get our oxtail ready. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little tip of cooking oil. All right, I like to add oil to my meat so that it helps the marinade stick to the meat, help the season. We're gonna start with a garlic powder, onion powder. We're gonna start with the dry stuff first. Oxtail seasoning. All right, a bit of salt and pepper. All spice. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add the liquid. So we're gonna add the soy sauce. The Worcestershire sauce, or however you call it. I don't even try to call that thing. All right, some browning. So a little tip. And then we're gonna go ahead and add your thyme. Add my garlic. And some onions. All right, now everything else you can see like the ketchup and the beans and stuff, that's all gonna be for later. So now we're just gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up. Make sure your hands are clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this all marinated. And for best result, I recommend keeping overnight, refrigerated 24 hours, but you know I ain't doing that, so. I'm going straight in the pot. All right, guys, on this one, we're not going to do this one in no pressure cooker, as I, as I mentioned, no oven. We're doing this one old school, stove top. So we're going to go ahead and put a nice coconut oil in there. And once that's hot, we're going to go ahead and add our ox, and I'm going to give him a nice sear on each, each side. And then we're going to add the liquid and let it reduce, bring to a board. An oxtail is one of them things, guys, that you're going to see 101 recipes for. Everybody have their own style of doing it. This is just how I do it. Some people do it with carrots, some people do it with potato. Only thing I use is garlic and onions and then dry, dry seasons. All right, I think that's hot enough. Let's test the water. Oh, yeah. Already making a mess. I like to clean as I go, guys. You want a nice sear on both sides. Alright. Alright. And then you're gonna keep this juice, so we're gonna add some we can add beef broth, veggie broth, chicken broth, or our water to this. And then once the oxtail gets the sear, we're gonna go ahead and add this on top to let it simmer. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and cover. See in like three minutes. All right. So it's been three minutes. Let's see. Oh, wow. Let's see. I see on that side, this one's gonna be in a quick turn. You see that nice 
you see it? That's what you're looking for. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and cover again for another three to five minutes. All right, guys. So while that's going, our sauce, we're gonna go ahead and add our ketchup. And this is optional again, guys. Most people just add brown sugar. I don't add sugar. I'm gonna add a cup of beef broth. And I'm making this one gluten free. So at the end, I'm gonna add my butter beans and that will have thicken the sauce. So everything in one pot, gluten free and it's gonna be tasty so we're gonna go ahead now and add this to our oxtail and let it reduce and you add liquid while you go because it's gonna take more Alright guys, so you see while that's simmering, I just want to give you guys a sneak peek of what's going on. Alright, so we're just going to let that reduce and simmer for if you have the patience for it for an hour and low boil. Or you could use a pressure cooker or a micro or the oven. But as I said, I'm just doing this on the stove top for you guys. Alright, so you now the time is passed, that should be reduced enough. There you go. That's what you're looking for, guys. Let me bring it closer so you guys could see. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add our butter beans because our oxtail is cooked. What the butter bean is going to do, it's going to help thicken it up. I'm gonna go ahead and add another can. Alright, add another can of beans. That's gonna help with thickening the sauce. So you don't gotta add flour or any other stuff. So this way your oxtail is gluten free. And you have your gravy. Nice gravy. Alright, I've got some rice going over here. I'm gonna go back to plate up. Alright. Let's start with some rice. And if you're like me, I eat a lot so I have a lot of rice. And you want to make sure you get some red sauce and the beans all over your oxtail. Alright guys, that's it.